Samir Bhavnani, my favorite deranged man on YouTube. Now earlier today I was browsing YouTube and I thought I haven't looked at Samir Bhavnani's channel in a few weeks, why not see what he's up to? And that was my first mistake, because I found out that one of Samir Bhavnani's most recent videos is one of the most outrageous things he's ever posted. And well by law I have to cover it now, I was living in such peaceful bliss. Psycho stepmom sticks daughter in the oven. Shocking ending. Well, at least this is the one life lesson channel that actually does sometimes make shocking endings. So I guess there's that to look forward to. Not much else though. Let's begin. Please subscribe. <sighs> I can't find my other red shoe. You seen it, Alan? Huh? What? You fat monkey pig. I thought I told you no more snacking. You're getting fat. Okay, I'm so sorry, Bernice. I was still feeling hungry. What did you just call me? Bernice? It's mom! All right, not even 30 seconds in, and there's already quite a bit wrong with this. First off, we're going for the evil stepmother trope. Okay, respectable, Samir. But firstly, if the stepmother didn't like the daughter, why would she want to be called mom by her? That seems a little bit backwards. And uh, secondly, this child literally looks like she's starving, so why make it where the mom says she's fat? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense in like a really stereotypical sense, but I think you're better than this, Samir. I didn't sleep with your daddy and marry him to not be called mom. <laughs> you forget to call me mom again, and you're going back in the oven. I'm so sorry, Bert. Mom. Wait, back in the oven? Has this happened more than once? Where is this child's father? Just a quick life tip. Um, kids, if you are getting stuck in an oven at home, tell a teacher. <sighs> And you still didn't do the dishes. <sighs> hmm. I'm sorry I was hungry. My mom told me I should always eat when I'm hungry. Well, I'm your mom and I say do the dishes and stop snacking, you monkey pig! Okay, something rubs me the wrong way about that insult. I don't really know why, but I sure don't like the way it sounds. If your other mother loved you so much, she wouldn't have left you. I accepted you and your father in my life. But I expect respect. I'm sorry, Bernice. I mean, sorry, Mom. You want to be a pig? Well, piggy come bake. Really? You had the opportunity to say roast, but you went with bake? You roast a pig. I mean, come on, Samir, it was right in front of you. My god, this had to be the first take, right? I mean, are y'all hearing this girl and her reaction? Oh no, please, don't do it. Don't put me in the oven. Stop, come on, what are you doing? No, no way. I mean, geez, a little bit of emotion would have been nice. You've completely broken my immersion. <laughs> Okay, so they drag this out for over a minute, just her sitting in the oven with dramatic music getting louder and louder, and it just ends with her opening the oven and walking out of the house. Okay, so I understand that they probably wanted to go with an actor around this age, and I know that Samir's budget is probably not limitless, but I mean, are you serious? I don't even think this girl knows she's supposed to be acting. Hi, Mr. Rooney. My stepmom has gone crazy. Please help. Oh, of course. Come in, come in. Come in. 
Really? Really, Mr. Rooney? Nothing? No follow-up question? No what's going on? You could be putting you and your entire family in danger by letting this girl in. You don't know what she means by crazy. Her mom could be going on a rampage. Come on, Mr. Rooney, you're better than this. Hey, babe. Yeah, all's good. Ellen's being Ellen, as usual. Giving me a hard time even though I'm pregnant. Oh, uh, oh, yes, I can't wait for winter break to be over. No, you know I'm avoiding heavy lifting. Don't wanna harm the little one brewing inside. <laughs> Wait, see, now I'm confused. Is she lying about being pregnant? I mean, don't people usually do that if they don't want somebody to leave them? Aren't they already married? I don't understand why she would lie about being pregnant. Or maybe she isn't lying. I don't know why this is important. So she put you inside the oven. And this is the second time? Yes, Mr. Mommy. How'd you get out last time? She didn't pick you inside? No, I had to beg and plead. And my dad just came home. So she rushed to pull me out. But I think for sure this time she was gonna turn it on. I've noticed something strange about your stepmom ever since I moved here a few months ago. Yes, dear. I'll have dinner ready for you when you get home. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna bake something for you right now. <laughs> was she planning on serving this man's daughter as dinner? I mean, honestly, I don't think Bernice has a dinner. Does this look like somebody who could bake a child? Not to me, and I have experience. My lawyer advised me not to finish that sentence. Ellen? Ellen? Did you burn to ashes already? Ellen? Okay, now look, I'm not trying to hate on a seven-year-old who got stuck in an oven by their stepmom, but if it was that easy for her to push the oven door back open, why didn't she just do that the first time? I mean, it seems like her stepmom kept her in there for quite some time based off her thinking she would still be in there. Why would she not try to open the door the first time? Have you called the cops yet, Mr. Rooney? Or at least my dad? I think we should let my dad know too. No. No, not yet. Just give me a minute. Okay. What? No! Don't give him a minute. Mr. Rooney, what are you waiting for? You have a child in your home telling you of the extreme abuse she's going through and you're like, mm, I'll wait to call the cops. Let me think about it a little bit longer. You didn't tell your dad about the first time this happened? No, my stepmom said that she would bite off my fingers like a gremlin if I did. Oh. I see. Okay, I'm gonna call the cops first. This woman sounds like a hot mess. You know, honestly, Mr. Rooney, I think that your lack of reaction is the most disturbing thing in this video so far. I mean, you just heard a kid tell you that her mom said she was gonna bite her fingers off and your reaction was, oh, okay. What have you done, Mr. Rooney? Why are you so desensitized to this? Have you seen it, Alan? Wait. Oh my god, is Bernice getting it on with Mr. Rooney? Is this a life lesson video with a half decent twist? History is being made. Ellen? Everything okay? The cops are on their way. Yeah, everything is fine. Great. Come have a seat. Mr. Rooney, there isn't a Mrs. Rooney. Huh? No, not in a long time, dear. No one you're saying either? Ellen, what's with all the questions suddenly? I highly doubt you know anyone for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I can see what your mom says about you. Very prideful. Hmm? Are Bernice and Mr. Rooney actually together? Am I about to have to take back everything I've said about this video? Let's find out. That must be the cops. I'm gonna go get that. That was really fast. All I had to say is, young girl in trouble. <laughs> 
So where is she? She was right here. Oh, my red shoe. <laughs> that brat. Wow. Honestly, I've gotta say I'm kind of surprised. Now, I'm not gonna say it was a great video, maybe not even good, but it was definitely better than what we normally see from Samir. I mean, Mr. Rooney's reaction made sense. It was a decent twist. I actually didn't see that coming. I probably should have, but I really didn't. If they would have hired a better actor for the girl, this might have actually been a somewhat okay video. Samir, I'm impressed. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.